Greetings. Hey, it's Suzy Q working with my own Akashic Records. I've been moving some of my books around and I've got this beautiful gong and I love um, kind of just getting a little bit more guidance from this. So we're going to work with my Akashic Records. It'll move into automatic writing. I've been doing this since 2008, the first day of 2008, and I um, have been loving it. All, you know since then you know since 2024 right so we're going to get started with this one akashic record and see what you think <laughs> right on to the downbeat rediscover your own unique blueprint within the realms of quiet embers ignited rekindle the flames and discover how alchemy initiates an inward yearning of home particles to matter to veins of pure light this body of your choosing reconciles the very nature as you the initiate of light within through fire the yearning to remain present explores your greatest gifts of life sustaining courage and resilience in the face of cosmological unfoldment. Upon arrival, fresh from the touch of source energy, you now remember your hosted self as God particle. What you ascertain as your truth, we encourage you to disallow the first thoughts that come to be. Like a river flowing, the rush of water brings about nature's truest essence. Flow, right? <laughs> flow, flow, flow. For a moment, imagine yourself at the water's edge and see what there is to see in the flow. What flows by surely will pass so quickly that in your mind's eye, it may just be a fleeting awareness. Fleeting thoughts, sensory perceptions are always about to demonstrate your keenest means of co-creation. Perceptions lock in on your present desire of outcome. <laughs> Think a thought, it comes to be. The consciousness of the burn clears the path wide open to illustrate the vibrancy of light onto light as new particles to matter to veins of pure light rebirths anew. As the souls here now are more fully realized and a deeper understanding of these times, even if the awareness is not yet understood, there are dynamic forces in play. The highest means of traversing the foreign inner and outer landscape suggest a time of renaissance of self. <laughs> Be one with the chalice's womb of creation. Restructure by frequency-based calibrations to respond to the cosmological theater of now. What is frequency and why do I need to know this? <laughs> For the typist, it means of a meditative nature that lends itself to sustaining energies in support of a wellspring of life force energies during the duration that you have on this planetary sojourn. The key here is to shore up the notions about what it means to be lovingly caring for yourself. Frequency-based techniques assist us all, even if it's simply helping one person to achieve a higher state of life force energy, thereby up-leveling the collective as a whole. By fire, we accept the winds of change. We let go. We let it all go. We let it all go. It's safe to let things go. I lovingly let go of things that no longer bring me joy. 
I'm going to say that again. I lovingly let go of things that no longer bring me joy. I love myself because I know it's time for me to be set free. I forgive all, including myself. I send these energies of non-beneficial means into that burn, into the fire, the alchemist, you and I transmute the debris and so it is lovingly transcribed by Susie Q via Anasara <laughs> oh man it's so fun I love my new space I've got my books here I've got my gong here so I've kind of changed a few things around but with the Akashic Records um, and with the automatic writing all of this has been supporting me for many years since 2008 i really love sharing this material i love kind of like talking about it and writing about it putting a video out all of this material is uh, mostly my work sometimes i get some quotes from different books i've got a lot of books back here um, but i'll just kind of give that credit for the people with the books you know so it's been really fun i've been really enjoying my time here in sunny Scottsdale it's kind of hot right now um but we're just really like living our best life to the extent that we can you know because it's kind of warm right you know but I love uh sharing this material it's so much fun I've really enjoyed over the years all the different uh, sentiments through the words and the paragraphs and all of these things moving into automatic writing and all of that has been wonderful so some of the work that I do I am a quantum healing hypnosis technique practitioner level two I have been doing the Akashic Records for many years helping people to get more guidance and I also go the with the subconscious mind I, I would love the subconscious mind that's my my freaking you know juicy space you know and then I could do walk-ins and also near-death experiences and all kinds of other things some sometimes I do exorcisms I, I I was told I could do exorcism but then I I actually did too maybe like last year two exorcisms within the QHHT uh, situation so all of this has been you know kind of extraordinary and some of it is like super juicy and I absolutely love sharing this material and and hoping that you have a little bit of interest maybe you want to learn a little bit more of the Akashic Records or maybe you want to learn a little bit more about automatic writing if you're ever interested if you'd like to learn a little bit more about both of these I think they come together you know it's like the Akashic Records is like the Book of Life the Book of Souls and there's all kinds of other words you can give it to but all of this has been a beautiful band of light energy beautiful frequencies and play of all of these words and thoughts and impressions and visions and all these things are moving so beautifully so we'll see us <laughs> <laughs> yeah but if you ever have an interest if you'd like to learn a little bit more about some of this work I'll be happy to support you and um, share some of my thoughts that might help you uh, to do your own your own um, experiences I love sharing it's been so freaking fun we'll see you soon <laughs> and namaste <laughs>